Hi, Cancer. So this is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Let's get right into it. Um, usually I've been pre-selecting the cards. No, well, I'm just going to get right into it, Cancerians. I have to say to you, if my energy level seems off or low, it is because I got my second shot. It's the Pfizer version. And I feel very blessed that I have not... Um, that I've not gotten sick the way that my, my sister and son did. They got the Moderna with their second shot. They were like down and out with fever and chills for a day. But my second shot, no, I haven't had that. It's been great. But what it did do is exactly what the first shot did. And it knocked me the f out. Like it's like it was really, really just, I've just been so tired. That's what it, that's been my personal experience with it. So, um, I apologize if I'm not the same. I have got a lot of work backed up and um, yeah, just a lot, of, a lot of stuff. So let's get into the reading, though. I just wanted to explain a little bit. So star card. Um, this is about hopes and dreams and aspirations. Now, normally, this is a really good card to start off with, Cancerians. Um, this is a week of karma. You know, and I, I have to say, it, it's just all, none of us can escape it. This is a huge karma week. Um, but this was a beautiful, lovely week as well with the Taurus new moon. This is a time to plant. This is a time to recognize that your actions today create the world that you live in tomorrow or in the future. And that where you're living, it's almost like that time when you see the connection between the past and the present and the future, where you realize your actions, your decisions, your choices really have designed how you're living right now and all that you have and all the good stuff and all the, the challenging stuff, right? So now we talk about with us is our aspirations, our dreams, our goals. Now you could equate this to the star card and say this is wishes and dreams coming true. <laughs> I'm a Cancerian too, man. So I'm hoping for that, okay? But um, we, we really need a lot more information. So Cancerians, let's get into the full reading, but we know now, now know that that's sort of the theme. Our dreams, our hopes, our aspirations, our potential, um, and where we are in terms of all of that being fulfilled and seeing that realized, or maybe even just the relationship that we have with our dreams. Dreams do not just come true. That's not a thing. Dreams take hard work and tenacity to make real that's what happens and that's when like dreams come true and the truth thing the truth the real truth is that even when you make your dreams come true and you manifest them into reality after a lot of hard work you've changed and so the dreams and the aspirations change it's almost like a a, a never a never ending constantly moving target right? We think that we want something and we do, but when we have it, it never feels the way it felt in our dreams. It's because the 3D world is not the dream world. It's the laws of physics world. It's a gravity world. It's a three-dimensional world, actually four dimension if you include time, but we interact with things in three dimensions. So it's like, yeah, there's restrictions. It's, it's never going to be as clean and easy as our fantasies ever. And by the time things get manifested, we've probably moved on, at least in our fantasies, to something else. So really what I'd like for you guys to do right now is take a look back and see how far you've come. Because sometimes we don't give the practical things that we have in our life enough credit. And that's why we get really caught up in, well, why don't my dreams ever come true? Or, you know, um, why is it always so difficult or hard? Because we really don't take time to recognize the wonder that already is and that there is a possibility to realize dreams. So it's not dreams come true. Let's think of it more as realizing dreams. Face your fears, release the power of fear. So um, I, I find this card as almost like um, a, a pathway or a secret to your success and making your dreams come true. Facing your fears, what are you afraid of? Now, your fears are the worst, are the worst thing. You know what I mean? Like, like, what are you really afraid of? Well, you have to face, you can't just face the things that 
other people would be scared of. Um, but, you know, you have to face your fears. So, you know, what's a popular fear? Arachnophobia or fear of heights or whatever, whatever. It doesn't mean it's your fear. Like, what is your fear, Cancerians? That's what you're being asked to get real and really, first of all, honor what you're afraid of. Don't down yourself or judge yourself or criticize yourself for it. Um, face it. Look at it. Look at it in the eye. Ask it why it's there. Like, have a conversation with it if you have to. Ask your fear, why are you here? Like, what really what's up? Like, what do you mean to teach me? Or where did you come from? Like, that's an important question for your fears. It's like, why am I so afraid of this? And then we have friendship. Nurture your relationships. Friendship is a really wonderful sweet spot for Cancerians. I think, um, it's, at least it's been in, in, in my personal life, and, and you guys can definitely please leave the comments below to say, like, how is friendship for you? But friendship has been pivotal pivotal in my in my life it has been um the most successful relationship i've ever been able to have so there is a sense of facing your fear through friendship not just making friends with your fear that's a little too esoteric right actually just like becoming friends with somebody first almost you know just like starting a friendship don't be afraid as in fact friendship is where things should be begin should start or you could be facing your fears or your friends are helping you to face your fears it could be also a sense of your friends are going to be the key to overcoming an obstacle to this right here right especially if you start talking about what it is that you really desire with friends i feel like if especially if you feel if you meet Especially if you felt like you're meeting new people right now, like you feel like new people are coming into your life, that's because those people are connected to the opportunities and aspirations. And it's not like you're becoming friends with them because of that. It's not like you're intentionally aligning yourself with somebody to use them or climb the social ladder. I don't think you're really... But, in the best sense, you won't even know that it's these relationships and bonds that you're making that are actually opening doors for you. Um, please do, if you like this video, like this video and then share the video on your social media platforms because that really helps the channel grow. Also, subscribe to the channel and click that bell below. And remember, make sure that it's set to all notifications so that you know when I upload. Cancer comes out with Leo and Virgo every single Friday before 6 a.m., Los Angeles time. Um, but don't just watch your sun sign. You want a really well-rounded message each week. You watch your sun, your moon, and your rising sign because those are the three main signs that have really defined you and represented you throughout the history of, um, of astrology. Right now in Western astrology or tropical astrology, um, the sun sign tends to be the most important it isn't really. It's just a piece of you. The rising sign used to actually be the most important. Um, and it was interesting how while philosophies changed and, this, and, 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 and individuality became so much more important in terms of culture, um, the sun sign moved into like the premier spot, right? But in a lot of different forms of astrology, I believe Vedic specifically, the moon sign is exceptionally important because you... Because it moves so quickly, you can get more accurate predictions with it. So, um, and it is so close to us and there's, it's impacting us at all times. So get your sun, your moon, and your rising sign video every single day right here and over on Vimeo. There's always an extended reading for every one of these videos. And that includes um, two readings, your romance reading and the extended message almost personal message that is the extended reading fyi i know like i said i i'm like i'm a little too I'm a little too distracted today um keys here we are so there's some sort of key there's some sort of key to the kingdom key to a solution it's like a solution it's like an aha it's like a realization it's all of a sudden you've got the key you've got a key a door is opening for you roots and sweets something's rooted in sweets <laughs> 
that's my I like like love my food right um maybe there's a key here I don't know it could be overindulgence sometimes sweets is all about overindulging that something is rooted in your overindulgences that you have to pay attention to so a for some of you this could be a warning but I also think that it's all about because you get friendship right it's all about festive and let yourself have fun I let yourself root yourself and connect with different people right now because that's the key to your success so cancerians and i know listen i know us what happens cancerians what do we what do we love to do we love to burrow we love to hide sometimes we get very anti-social even well this is the time to be social this is the time to get yourself out there this is the time to make new friends because it's the key to your success i am beautiful knowing that you're beautiful having confidence that no not the version of you that you have in your dreams not the version of you that you see 20 pounds lighter right now accepting your beauty and other people accepting your beauty too in other words this is a highly attractive time for you people are finding you attractive you are attracting new people into your life and that is not just um it's not just romance man this is a this is a key to what you've been missing or or um a key element to your success third eye chakra intuition understanding all knowing seeing things that are not necessarily uh is visible to these eyes third eye chakra um so this is this is this is spiritual insight spiritual strength and your third eye chakra in other words this is on point right now in this energy so you'll see things that are not there and i'm not just talking about like like hallucinations that's not what i'm talking about okay i'm talking about um your spirit because you, holy shit that's so cool look look what's illuminated in this in this image is his third eye you see and then the third eye chakra comes out so you may be dreaming you may be getting visions this is a good time for you cancerians to meditate and take some time to open up that third eye chakra because the universe is going to be delivering messages directly to you in other words the universe ain't playing right now with you it's it's not even trying it's to kind of sort of be suggestive it is being extremely blunt right now and your intuition is on point so trust it um, work through your fears. This is the second time that messages come up and adjustments are required. I would like to know what adjustments are required. Um, there's lots of questions for tarot that we'll get into, but it says adjustments are required. Work through your fears. Fears of what? What are you afraid of? Right? You, you, you like there's something that you have to change that is holding you back and um, that will become painfully clear within this energy by may 23rd step away from the crowd i know you're making new friends but at the same time you're standing out say no okay have you been feeling social pressures have you been feeling social pressures this may be your time and a, a need like for the universe to see that you have the strength to say no to social pressures step away from the crowd turn back go away move like go you don't have to continue to go down a direction that isn't working for you understand that you're not stuck that if you've started a relationship with somebody or you started to get to know somebody or even if you started a new job and you can intuitively know this is just not right then stop turn back around you're you should believe yourself you should trust yourself you shouldn't continue down a path that you know is wrong say no be able to reject what is not for you. Decide the outcome. So it's not even, don't expect other people to decide for you. This is, this is about the fear of making a decision, Cancerians. This is about the fear of disappointing other people. This is a fear that we have to get over. Um, because we can't abandon ourselves now. It's too important of a time and it's too powerful of a time. Give it to God. So trust that the universe is leading you in the right direction and that your senses and intuition are correct. Um, it's also have faith. You know, have faith that the world isn't going to fall apart just because you disappoint somebody or um, um, say no. It's hard, I know, because as Cancerians, it's very difficult to say no. This is good news. The fairy oracle. Love you, fairy oracle. 
basically what this is saying is you're going to get unexpected help help from an unexpected place it comes from maybe friends in low places friends that you didn't even know you had or just like unexpected offerings coming to us <laughs> That's pretty freaking cool. Like, I would like to know more about that. <laughs> um, um, but this is really beautiful. Unexpected offerings. Ooh, spontaneous and intuitive creation. Ideas are coming through. And I think that you're not just creating with yourself. I think you're creating with others, to be honest with you. So um, this is about, I don't know. There's so many possibilities, man. But things are happening. Thing, blessings, ideas, they're coming out of the blue opportunities they're coming out of the blue so it's really a good time for you to not look backward well look backward to appreciate in those meditative moments how far you've come but beyond that just look forward there's going to be a lot that's just happening to you that's kind of sort of like sort of like just or it seems that way because you see once we create our momentum moving forward the, the universe catches on the momentum and says, oh, cancer, cancer wants to move forward. So we're just going to keep like, well, moving forward. And it seems spontaneous, but it's not really spontaneous. You've actually programmed the universe to move in the direction that you want to go by putting your focus in that direction. Um, spontaneous and intuitive creation. You... I'm sorry for that skip. You may actually get unexpected help with something that you've been working on. If you've been working on a creative project or or something like, why is that happening? Hello, MacBook Pro. I paid $5,000 for this computer. Can you not be faulty? Jesus. Oh, so frustrating, man. So frustrating. Apologize, Cancerians. Um, so that you know, I have another channel called Astrology Motivation now. Please do go over there and check out that content and like and subscribe to that content because um, it's everything that I can't fit over here. My weekly astrology forecasts, my astrology motivation, and I'll, I might be posting some dailies over there too. I go live Monday through Friday on Instagram. So if you want to interact with me live, come on over to Instagram and subscribe there. Also subscribe to Astrology Motivation because if I go live on YouTube, I'll be going live over there. Um, but you can definitely see me live Monday through Friday on Instagram. Born underscore without underscore boundaries. Um, poised you're ready you're ready for this you're ready for this and like you have practiced you are ready and you've got a wonderful essence of strength of character right now maybe strength in places that you normally wouldn't have strength in you know it, like parts of yourself that have strengthened over the years that are now a part of you moldavite this is, a rock, this is a stone that I'm constantly attracted to. Unconventionality. For those Cancerians who are born between, I think, the 1st and the 10th or something like that, the 1st and the 14th, you are Cancers that are born in the week of the unconventional. So especially for, like, I think it's... Um, it's a group two Cancerian. So there's the beginning of Cancerians and the middle and then there's the end. And I think it's group two, which I, I happen to belong to. So I know this. Um, unconventionality is the key word for us. Your unique qualities are an important part of your life purpose. It's okay to feel and be different from others. So this is a good time to let your oddities stand out. As long as you're secure in them, other people will be secure in them. Even if they're weird, it doesn't matter. If you're secure in them, other people will be secure. Um, angelite or yeah, angelite spiritual or religious community join with like-minded people for friendship and increased spiritual growth y'all we're meeting new people like we're building out our tribe we're expanding right now based on our true selves our odd self our individual self our true selves and then um sodalite um socialize or join in this is not even subtle anymore. We hear you, angels. Um, make healthy and supportive new friendships and connections by getting involved with a group of like-minded people. How many times are they going to say that to us in one freaking reading? <laughs> That's crazy. Um, yellow Jasper. Control issues. Utilize your God-given strength and power. Instead of fearing that others may control or may try to control you, I just had a message from Spirit. 
as I'm reading these cards. And that is the new people that you're drawing into your life. I want you to ask them what they do. I, I know that there's going to be a common trend in what they do. Their profession will be very much geared in a specific way. And that is the angels guiding you or telling you what you should be doing. Who you're attracting is a reflection of who you are. And so these new people that are coming into your life are coming into your life because they are a message. They're a message. So let's get into your totem messages. Animal totems are extremely important because they are how the universe uses the natural world to send you messages. You know, they are the messenger system. Think about the owl and Harry Potter. They are the messengers. So be very cautious around, you know, uh, these, these messengers that the spirit world is sending in. I'm not even kidding. I, angels, I know you're talking directly to me. I'm still confused, but crow spirit. The crows have been acting really weird around me. There's always crows around my house, but they've been acting really freaking weird. They've been dive bombing my dog for some reason, first of all. And they've been really inspiring the protective mother protection energy in me. Um, I, I, I don't know how they're impacting you, but be very... Um, be, when you when crow enters your life especially if it's the animal itself look at how it's behaving look at the situations that it's reacting around okay um th that's part of the message um don't just um it, don't just look at think crow itself co co-create with spirit co-create with spirit spirit is there's something there's something that it's trying to point to or tell you um there's a message here that, that, that spirit is trying to tell you through crow. Look at crow's behavior or where the image, it could, it doesn't have to be a crow itself. It could be, um, an image, a logo on somebody's shirt, a fucking bumper sticker, whatever, wherever you see it, look at the situation around it and what's happening. Um, pig spirit, use your mind wisely. So be very keen and be very understanding and also that third eye is kind of glowing in him also be intuitive and don't like trust your mind trust your insights trust what you know don't have that internal argument that cancerians always do you know something and then you fight it because it doesn't feel polite or it doesn't feel like people will like you if you say something that's that bullshit's got to go because spirit is full on i mean almost just like talking to your face right now you you must listen. This is also uh, in in like um <clears throat> a message of when pigs fly. So Cancerians, something that you thought was never going to happen or come through for you is gearing up to happen and come through for you. Give with gratitude and grace. This is put your whole self in. Don't be shy about it. Don't be embarrassed about it. Don't be slight or suggestive about it. Put your whole self in. There's something about sacrificing and and maybe even doing goods with uh, give, uh, doing good for others. Give with gratitude and grace. Now you don't have to actually. It's not about just giving money or philanthropy. It's about giving people time, like being like interested in conversations, like opening up to conversations. Like this is a time to be open and giving. And then we have claim your independence. So this is a fun, playful time. Cats are going to remind you to be fun. They're going to remind you to be playful, um, be happy, um, and be okay being you. <laughs> you know, just be yourself. A cat never has a problem being their fucking selves, okay? In the middle of your dinner party, they will be licking their, licking their thing. You know, they don't care. They will get on the couch to do it in front of you. They are always themselves. They're happy that way. Horse spirit, freedom is yours. This is almost about a time when you're like loving yourself. You're loving your independence. Also um, being free, freed from some sort of obligation or even mindset that you'd been trapped in. Sort of liberation from that. And then we have set healthy boundaries. This is a warning because it's coming out in reverse. And we have trouble setting boundaries. So be free and liberate yourself from born without boundaries, right? That's a Cancerian thing, not being able to set boundaries. Your freedom depends on you being able to set healthy boundaries. And so warning, realize that there's, 
there's a weakness here, you know, in terms of um, letting people know your boundaries and setting those boundaries or being afraid of setting those boundaries. That's a key. That, I think that's a, a key to your success right now is to really work on establishing your boundaries without concern for what people might think of you. Be here now. There's also difficulties in maybe being playful or um, living in the moment, uh, which is a challenge for us, right? So in other words, these two things are working together. You may you may have a hard time setting a boundary because you're you're thinking, oh, how is it going to affect me or impact me in the future? Um, you're not focused on in the moment. What is right for you? That's what spirit is saying. It's it's a challenge, but this is the this is the this is the key to your success right now is focus on the here, focus on the now, and if it doesn't feel right, say no, set the boundary. Um, and then reclaim your power. Key to your success, man. Dude. Now, all the shit that's coming in, that's very specific. And we get into the specifics um, in the, the Vimeo Extended. That link is below. I'm going to invite you guys over there now so that we can dig, dig deep and sort of reveal some of these secrets. But simultaneously, um, not simultaneously, I'm also inviting you to uh, hang out with me for a little while longer and just... Uh, Stick around for the angel messages that want to come through for you. Only two. And they're both green on green cards. Now, green is the color of the heart chakra. So this is a, a time for us to really get real with ourselves and nurture our hearts. Um, wisdom, or for our hearts to be open and uh, be introduced to new people. Uh, everything has a place and purpose. Be To be wise is to have great love tolerance and compassion for all things including yourself don't leave yourself off that list and then we have mindfulness be mindful of another's feelings and needs someone needs your love right now a loving thought is all it takes that's beautiful and honestly i think you know who it is we're going to get into the details i also want to see what abundance is coming in um come on man there's some there's more good news up in here plus there's your uh romance reading. So I'll see you guys over there. The link is below.